fable for you, and it's from Southeast Asia, and it's called The Turtle Who Couldn't Stop Talking. And so, there was this turtle, and he lived in this muddy, yicky, horrible pond, and he had such a hard time finding food to eat, because he couldn't see. He couldn't see his the insects and things that he needed to eat. And he would go up on a rock, and he would sit on the rock, and anytime somebody came by, he would talk to them. The snake slithered by, and he would say, oh, I wish I were like you. I want to go on an adventure. But I can't. I'm really slow, and I'm here all by myself on this rock or in this horrible pool. And they just kept going on. And then came the frogs. And the frogs were hopping along. And he said to the frogs, oh, you look like you're having so much fun, and you're in a group, and I'm here all by myself. On this in this horrible place and I'm just so unhappy and they kept going they pay much attention to him and then came these little birds and the little birds came along and the little birds were chirping and chirping and they were kind of flying and walking and I just wish I were like you I wish I could go someplace and get out of this place and I'm so unhappy here and and I, I don't know what to do about it and, and he was talking and talking and talking all the time and just getting really, really tired of talking. And then all of a sudden, these geese flew by. They came over and they looked at him and they said to him, oh, I can see that you are living in this horrible place and how can you find your food? And so I will take you someplace really beautiful. I will take you in the sky and I will take you to the most beautiful lake. It'll be so clear and blue, you'll be able to look down and you'll be able to find as many insects as you want. And, he, and the turtle goes, how am I gonna be able to do that? I can't fly. And so the geese said, oh, okay, we're getting a stick and you just hold on, but don't talk. You have to hold on with your mouth. I'm gonna take you up and away. And so off they went. The turtle's hanging down, going over the clouds through the clouds and the little village kids are going oh look look how silly there's a there's a turtle there in the sky i've never seen anything so silly in my life and and he wanted to say something to them kept them but he knew he couldn't open his mouth because he'd fall again he went to another village and bigger children oh look at that that guy is, oh my goodness i've never seen anything so dumb and stupid and oh my goodness and the turtle, again, he like bit his tongue. He didn't know what to do, but he just was quiet. And then he was going all again, farther and farther away. And there was a village, another village with really big kids. And they were just so angry at him and, and saying, oh, I can't stand you, Mr. Turtle. You just look so dumb and, and I just hate you. And he just couldn't take it anymore. So he opened his mouth to say something. Of course he fell. Well, he fell on some straw, so he just cracked his shell. He did not die, but he learned a lesson that it's really good to listen and not be talking all the time. <laughs> saying I very seldom if ever use props but today I do have some so I am being a beginner in the use of props. <laughs> this story is not too long ago but the animals were still talking to each other then and so when we talk about them saying this or saying that you have to know that that's the way things were. There was a turtle and very good friends of his these two flamingos who lived in a lovely pond, and they really enjoyed it. There were tall grasses, and there was mud, and there was good water to swim in, and fish. Now, there really wasn't very much noise there, because you know, flamingos aren't very talkative. They only say something if it's very important and it must be said. <laughs> turtle, however, well, turtle was another thing. Turtle never stopped talking. Now, if you were to ask the other animals what Turtle said, they would just shake their heads and say, nothing, he just talks. <laughs> Turtle talked to everybody and everything, but nobody could tell you what he said because very seldom what he said was important. He just loved to talk. 
He loved words and he loved the sound of his own voice. He just loved to talk. Well, one day, Turtle noticed that the water was getting a little bit muddy. He started to tell some of the fish about that when all of a sudden the flamingos came by, settled down in the pond and said, Turtle, we have something we need to tell you. We've noticed that it's been a very dry spring and a very dry summer and the water is drying up. Pretty soon we won't have a pond at all, but we have found a beautiful pond all over the mountain, not too far, and that's where we're going to go. Would you like to go with us? Oh, turtle, sure, I, yeah, I, I'd sure like to go, but how would I get there? I can't fly. And he went on and on. He told them why he couldn't fly. He told them how he had tried to fly. Wait a minute, turtle, said the flamingos. We have an idea. If we can get you there, would you like to come with us? Oh, that would be great, he said. And then he began to tell them how great it would be. Wait, 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 turtle. If we're going to take you, we've figured out a way we can do it. But you're going to have to be quiet. Oh, sure, I can be quiet. I was quiet. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tell you what we're going to do. We'll go and get a big stick, okay? And one of us will put the stick in his mouth on one side, and the other one will put the stick in his mouth on the other side. And Turtle, Turtle, you're going to put the stick in your mouth right in the middle. You got the, oh yes, I am, I'm gonna, no, 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 hush, hush, just listen. You put the stick in your mouth, but once we take off, you can't say anything, because if you do, you'll drop. If you let go of the stick, to, oh, don't worry about it, I understand, and I'm really anxious to get there, I'll be very, very good. And so, he put the stick in his mouth, and they took off, and as they took off, Turtle looked down, and he thought, wow, that's beautiful, and he wanted to tell them, and they, oh, no, 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 they said, I, I, I can't, I can't say anything, because then, oh, look at how pretty the mountain, maybe if we went, maybe I could tell, no, 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 I have to be quiet, and then they flew over a small town, and there were some children, and the children looked up, and they said, hey, look at that, there's a turtle hanging on a stick with two birds, <laughs> isn't that silly, and Turtle thought, well, that's not, I'm going to, no, 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 I mustn't, I mustn't tell them, I mustn't tell them, okay, we'll fly some more, and then they came to another town, and there were some grown-ups down there, too, and they looked up and said, look at that, that's the dumbest thing I ever saw, a turtle holding on to a stick, well, this was just a little too much for turtle, he thought, I'm, I, I, I know I should, I know, but doggone it, that's, and there's <laughs> Now when Turtle fell, he cracked his shell. And if you don't think that's what happened, you look at a turtle next time you see it, and you can see all those cracks on the outside of his shell. <laughs>